Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's video, I'm participating in the Using Trash to Create Treasure collaboration, which is hosted monthly by Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine. And this month, she has a co-host, Yami, the Latina next door. Now, uh, Casey does this pretty much almost every month. She wants us to use some sort of trash that are things that people would consider trash to create treasure. Now I have a collection of empty thread spools. I do a lot of sewing and so I have a wide collection of these thread spools and I've just been saving them for different craft projects. I didn't know what exactly what I was going to do with them but I've used some uh, to create a shelf riser before and now I'm going to use some of them to create a wreath for my sewing room. Now I went into my box of scrap fabrics and this is like just fabric pieces left over from all of my various sewing projects different sizes i have squares i have strips i have all sorts of things and i just went ahead and picked a few strips patterns uh, fabric that i like actually this particular collection came from a quilt that i use i made so they kind of all coordinate but not exactly you can use any color combination of your uh, choice you know you can pick and choose and maybe coordinate through just two colors or three colors whatever you like Again, I'm just using scraps that I have. So what I've done is I've trimmed my scraps down to size. Um, it's about two inches uh, width to cover the thread spool and about four and a half inches to make sure it wraps around completely and uh, has a little bit to uh, secure over. Now I'm just going to use some Mod Podge to attach my fabric strips onto my thread spools. Simply glue them on and then go back over with the Mod Podge to seal it all completely in. And I'm going to do this to all of my thread spools and just add the various different fabrics until I have them all covered and let that dry. And this is fairly simple to do. And once you do this, you don't have to make a wreath like I did. You can go ahead and use this for any sort of crafting project. Stack them all up, make a tape dispenser, you know, make a garland, whatever you'd like to do with your thread spools. Once they're decorated, you can do, uh, feel free to do. Now, I certainly could have painted them too but I like I said I wanted to use my bits and pieces of fabric things that normally might have ended up in the trash just because you know they were left over and again the thread spools definitely would end up in the in the trash so that's what I'm using for this one now um, I'm gonna apologize in advance you're gonna see I lost the footage of me actually putting the wreath together but this is really simple you can use a wreath form and glue these things or twist tie them on but what I'm gonna be using are um, this uh, wire and I, I don't know where I got this wire from what type of wire it was just happened to be in my craft stash but it's at least a 20 gauge wire I'm using some plain wooden beads my thread spools and some leftover strips of fabric you're also going to need some wire cutters and pliers and basically you're going to just string like you would any beaded necklace you're going to string everything on and make a circle and secure it into the form of a wreath so basically what I I did was I alternated between thread spool, a, a bead, thread spool, a bead, and then in between the beads and the thread spools I just tied on the little strips of fabric. Then I went into my uh, stash and just took like leftover ribbons, trims, lace, different things that I didn't ha really have a specific use for. They're little small pieces, you know, not enough to do a full anything. So that's what I'm adding onto my wreath. Just little touches. If you had an old tape measure, you can add it on. You can add whatever little knickknacks you have lying around your craft room you can add on to your wreath and i'm just using hot glue just to attach this like i said these little bits and pieces of crack just because i like the colors and like i said i didn't have much to do anything particular uh with what was left over with it might have been too small to you know complete an entire blanket or anything like that so 
Look into your stash and find all those odds and ends, those bits and pieces that you can't possibly use on an actual project you can go ahead and put together on your wreath with your tread spools. So I absolutely love how this turns out. It's going to be hanging on the door to my craft room and I'm going to show you exactly how this looks. Um, but again, go into your stash. Look at all the pieces that you know normally you would have possibly tossed out and get if you don't have enough thread spools get a, a like a foam wreath form and you can just glue things onto it that way so that's my idea of using trash to create treasure i love how my wreath turned out um, the pin cushion the little one on top was old it's actually from my grandmother's stash so i was able to incorporate it that into there. I have some vintage velvet ribbon, vintage lace, vintage ribbons, and then all of the little bits and pieces from my various quilt projects. So thank you Casey from Coffee With My Sunshine and Yami the Latina next door for this very fun collaboration. I enjoy participating. As I said earlier, I will be linking both of our hostesses channels in the description box below as well as a link to the playlist so you can get some more great great ideas of how you can use trash to create treasure. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button and I will see you in another video soon. Have a wonderful day and rest of your week. Bye!